IBM offers a, comp a complete method of proof of concepts whether you want to do an in-person kind of engagement at one of our centers of competency, whether you want us to actually get some equipment out to you so you can get your hands on the boxes and get comfortable with it. Um, we have a full suite of options there and it depends on the client and the deal obviously, commercial considerations, but um, we want you to be able to experience our technologies and understand, have that confidence that this is truly a tier one solution, that it's no longer relegated and you don't have to worry so much about the gas gauge associated with earlier iterations of flash technology. The Flash System V9000 is generally deployed as Tier 1 storage, not as a cache, not as uh, you can tier it, but in general, you know, it is fast storage for general purpose enterprise environments. And we recognize that certain software layers, you know, if you look further up the stack, not all the pieces may be fully Flash optimized, but because we've invested so much in that foundational technology, both on the hardware and in the software inside of those devices, we're able to say that you can sustain extremely high performance for virtually any workload that you could throw at it. Now, software on the host side is always going to be a limiting factor to some degree, and you're never going to completely eliminate a bottleneck, right? You're always just going to shift bottlenecks at some degree. But the amount of acceleration that you can get by deploying Flash as Tier 1 storage, and what we're able to unlock with the V9000 is, well, it allows you to not have to worry so much about those other software implications. What we're seeing is that there's a shift in consumption models associated with where you're getting your storage services and where you're getting your actual physical hardware. So increasingly what we find is that clients are now starting to think about new workloads where they don't want necessarily the same storage services implemented in a single highly available box, let's say. And for those new, new workloads, our technologies like Spectrum Accelerate or like Spectrum Scale for that matter allow them to kind of unbox those features and functionality and deploy them on the server side where they make sense. Now for clients who are used to buying traditional enterprise integrated systems, we continue to invest in that area. It's a huge part of our business and we're not, we're not going to let that piece go by any means, but it's more about getting to the adjacent workloads and getting to the new workloads where the consumption model for those services is just fundamentally different. So I would say that you know some people view that as a complexity in the portfolio. Portfolio, I view it as we have a set of technologies that can map to different business requirements. It doesn't have to be complicated. If you happen to fall into paradigm A or paradigm B, we have an option for you. It's not so much that you're trying to decide between paradigm A or paradigm B. That's a higher level architectural decision, which is more often than not designated or, or indicated, predicated by your overall application architecture and the way you want your data center to look in the future. The road to a unified management vision that we've had over the past, let's say, 50 years of storage and associated server technologies is littered with corpses of different unified management approaches. Okay, and there are still several, you know, main paradigms that are out there today. The latest trend is definitely to have a RESTful API, but you know, it turns out that when you dig into that, RESTful API could mean a lot of different things, and there. Are efforts at standardizing that, like you look at what you can do with OpenStack, and that does create kind of a consumable unified framework of services. It does seem to be gaining a lot of traction in cloud environments. IBM invests heavily in that, in that particular approach. But more generally, I think the shift from like a SOAP-based API, if you remember all that, to a lighter weight web services, to an even lighter weight just straight HTTP, using HTTP with the way that it was intended, is just one of those fundamental 
shifts we're going to see across the management paradigms. So we think it's important across the portfolio, but we also think that you know there there's still a need for standardization across the different approaches because everyone's rest is definitely not the same. So it's an emerging space, it's a nascent space. Will it be the be all and end all? It probably won't won't attack every single thing just like all the previous approaches to that unified management you know they didn't they didn't hit 100% they didn't attach it to everything but at least the paradigm of rest certainly is becoming very very popular across the emerging workloads and in the cloud environments